Howdy. Day 227. Straight into it. Pre-workout. Making it right now. Um, we're probably like, what are you wearing, Tristan? Well, this is my mobile robe. It's the same comfortability as a robe. Well, it is a coat, but <laughs> I'm just not wearing any shirt with it. So, it's the new fucking style. I'm, I'm trendsetter. I didn't know that... Uh, I just saw this like the other day, like the trend twins have a, a shirt that says trend setter. I thought it was kind of funny, <laughs> but I don't know. People are going crazy. I don't know how long that, maybe that's been around and I'm like late to the game. I don't really watch like those type of, uh, I don't watch them or any of those videos, YouTube videos. I'm mainly just watching educational content when I watch YouTube. Oh, and what I did. I know somebody said it a couple days ago, like I have a different energy in like my videos and the last couple days I felt down. I've said it as well, like I, I mean, I don't feel great. Like I felt like I was in a downward spiral. I'm putting that behind me because you get to pick what you think and how you feel and I'm being a bitch and feeling bad for myself and I sh like I live a amazingly good life. Like I live alone I have my own apartment, it's a nice big apartment. I make good money, I work out every day, I do the things I wanna do. I have no reason to feel bad about myself. So, well, I don't, not that I felt bad about myself, just like, just bad in general. Just like, just like not happy like about the day because I'm not getting the things I wanna get done. Like, how about just feel better and then have a better chance of doing them. So, less being a bitch and uh, more doing. So, oh fuck, I forgot to put the salt in. So, where I'm at right now is, I'm gonna hit shoulders, shoulders and forearms. I was gonna say something else. I would remember it if it was important. So, <laughs> that's why I have to think every time I forget something. If you, if you forget something, if it was important, you'd actually remember it, right? Maybe that's not logical thinking, but, um, yeah, I, uh, I'm on the move today, so I'm going to go on a walk really quick, drink this pre-workout, get some stretching done, then do my workout, eat. I got everything laid out. It's all in my head. I just got to do it, apply it. Oh, this is what I was going to say. To, like getting off your phone, getting off social media, getting off of all that bullshit of wasting time. I figured out a hack. It's actually kind of funny because like, <laughs> it's like, um, okay, maybe this sounds weird. No, it won't sound weird, but it's just kind of funny. All right, so I got this app. I deleted YouTube, even though I'm making this YouTube video, I deleted it off my phone. My phone, I'm just gonna try to have it as like minimal as possible, like only messaging my girlfriend and like, I don't know, messaging people. Um, only necessity things and just like everything off of it. Cause there's no, I don't need social media. I don't need any of that stuff. So I just deleted it all. Everything is off my phone. I could get to it on my computer if I wanted to. So I got this app that takes out everything. It's YouTube, but it takes out everything, right? It takes out the shorts. It takes out all the search recommended, everything. So only thing you can do is search up a video and then it pops up with the YouTube. But <laughs> the funny thing is, it's like the most buggy, like slow, shitty, like app ever. And it always is like f failing and crashing and all this shit. And I think it's perfect because I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, it's not working. Like, why is it not working? I just want to search up this video and look at this video, but I can't do it. And I'm like, this is the whole reason I got the app. Maybe they did it on purpose. Maybe the app just sucks and it just it doesn't out work how it's supposed to because it's mainly just supposed to remove the shorts and remove like, I mean, basically remove the shorts and remove the, uh, the search, like the, the, the browsing feature where you can just scroll and find recommended videos. That's what it is, the recommended channel. It mainly is supposed to just remove that, but there's some bug or that they made it bad or they did this on purpose, but it's insanely slow. Most people would be like, okay, it doesn't work. 
But I got that app for a reason, right? It's to not spend less time on YouTube. If I have something, if I have YouTube pulled up on this app and it's like slow and buggy and I'm gonna be like, fuck, so annoying. I'm not gonna do, like I don't even wanna watch it and then I put my phone away. Like it's literally perfect. I don't know who thought of that, but like when I thought of it, I was like, damn, that's actually like exactly why I got this video. Like make, like what I should do is get a really old phone that's super slow and doesn't work with certain apps and then I won't use it at all. Like I'll literally, I'll literally just be like, oh, it'll crash, it'll die or something and then I won't use it. So that's what I remember like when I was like never on my phone in like my junior year in high school, I guess like three years ago, <laughs> um, I had an iPhone 6, or maybe it was my sophomore year. No, it was my junior year. I had an iPhone 6S Plus, and that shit was like abs, that shit was done. Like I was never on my phone. That's when I was like originally like met and was talking to my girlfriend, and like she would only get to talk to me like at night when I, because the phone wouldn't work unless it was in a charger. So those, I guess like, six months, I was the most dialed in I've ever been. I don't know if I could ever get to that much dialed in because I didn't have a girlfriend, but I didn't have, I literally had no, no distractions. I would wake up, I would either go to work, um, like I was a lifeguard, so I would go to work, and then, this was also in high school, so I would either go to work in the morning and then go uh, to school, or I would go work out at the YMCA and then go to school. I worked at the YMCA, so I would either work or work out. I'd go wake up every day at 5 a.m., 6 a.m., and then go work out or work, and then go back home, make some breakfast or whatever, make a protein shake, and then go to school. I was always late, but never had my phone. My phone would always die before like midday, and uh, yeah, just just dialed in because I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I had no way of. Uh, I mean, going on it because the phone just sucked. And I forget about that. So like, if you guys want to hack, just get a super old phone that doesn't work. And I mean, my, my phone's honestly slowing down right now. This phone's become an old phone because it's a, it's a 13, even though it's, ba it, it's new to me, but um, they have a 16 out now, right? Or a 17, I don't know. I don't pay that much attention. But yeah, this thing, literally of no use like you can call like I can call and text other like people on it but I want to have everything off of it so it's like I use it as little as possible the only thing is I like to listen to music or not music I don't listen to music I like to listen to podcasts when I go on walks audiobooks sometimes mostly just podcasts of like people getting interviewed as well CEO interviews I like to listen to those things when I'm going on walks but they're not like a necessity so, yeah, recommendation for you guys. If you want this app, it's called Unhooked. So basically, you just pull it up. This is the YouTube. This is all it has, right? So, um, yeah, that's it. And then you just, you can, all you can do is search, and it's, and it's buggy as hell. Sometimes, like I, yesterday, I was trying to search, and I couldn't, the button wouldn't work. Like, the button just wouldn't work. So I was like, damn, okay, well, I guess I'm not watching YouTube then. So... Yeah, my main thing is I'm not going on social media. I'm not scrolling that shit anymore. I've gotten that out of my system. Now I got to get YouTube out of my system. The final boss. So I hope you guys can see my energies up. This is literally just the perfect like fall day. Like I don't know if you guys know my favorite season is fall. I fucking love fall. It's the it's the best season. This is like an ideal day for me. I like a cloudy, calm fall cold day. Like, I like it cold. I don't like it winter, but I like it cold and cool. I would say, maybe this is cold for you guys, but like 50s. Like 50s is good for me. That's, that's ideal. So I'm going to go on a walk right now. Embrace the fall energy because it's my favorite time of the year. And I should be more happy. Like, summer's over. <laughs> I've been waiting for summer all year. And, uh, yeah, winter's approaching, so I got to embrace this, uh, this beautiful time. This is my favorite time. Look at it. So gray. So, uh, I don't know. It's, if you go to, if you go to, like, more, like, wooded areas, it looks a lot cooler because there's more colors and stuff, like reds and stuff. So that's why I walk down by the river, but, yeah. Let's go. 
Alright. Start it off with some shoulder press. I'm gonna go 55s. Let's see how that feels. I think I'm pretty warmed up. If this is too easy, then I'll go up. We'll see. We'll just do 60s. I'm not, I was thinking 65s, but I'm just gonna do 60s and get good reps. Same weight again. Okay. So right as I talk about that app that was good, unhooked, I look, I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck is this on my credit card? And they charge my credit card 50 some dollars. I, was, I thought it was like a, a dollar a week, but I guess their starting out plan is six months long. So, I mean, it's 50 bucks, but like, <laughs> just kind of annoying. It was like, what the hell? Thought I was paying a dollar a week. I guess that turns out to be, now there's 50, 54 weeks in a, month, in a year. That's more than that. Yeah, see, that doesn't make any sense. Stupid company. I don't recommend the app. It's not worth that much. And I know that's a broke person mindset, but just kind of scummy of them not say up front how much it costs or they say how much but then it's like oh you got all these fucking fees in the back end it's stuff like that I'm just gonna do some uh, lava raises and then come back to these with lower weight and just like really feel it on my outer delts. And so for the people who are like, Tristan, it's a noon. It's 12.04 right now. Why aren't you working? Well, number one, you know I do what the fuck I want. Number two is I, I don't really work on a schedule, but like I took these the last couple of days of this week off. So like today's Wednesday, I guess I work on weekdays, but 
my normal job, slow as hell right now. So no point in me working. I want to focus on my own stuff because lately I've been like, okay, what's it, what's it more worth? My time, the hours I'm going to spend doing the work or the money? Like what, is it going to be more worth it to make better YouTube videos? I have to think about that. But there's a launch for a different offer that I'm working on right now that happens tonight. So I'm going to be up all fucking night the next 20 some hours, hope, probably even longer than that, like 48 hours. It's three days of selling after this launch. I did sign an NDA, so I can't say, I don't know what I can say or not about it. I didn't even read the NDA, I just signed it. So I can't go in like detail about actually what it is. Um, but <laughs> I could either make a lot in the next three days. Like, I mean, I'll make a good amount, like maybe a couple grand, but like, five to 15 grand is within the spectrum of what I'll make in these three days, which is fucking crazy. So if I do, like it might flop, I have no idea. I'm hoping the best for it. it might flop, I hope it doesn't. But if it does, I don't know, I'll make a couple grand. If it goes crazy, I'll make a couple, couple grand, which, and, it's, and I had to think about it, like, is it even worth the money, like the time that I'm spending on this shit? Because I'm gonna be losing a lot of sleep. And I won't know until I do it. So it's tonight. So this video might not get uploaded for a while. I don't know why I start counting and I'm de that definitely wasn't five. Like I can't start counting it on like a weird ass number. Like I've done like 20 and I'm going to start going like one, one, two, three, Okay, I'm gonna do a couple of those and then back to, I might do it with the bar, overhead press with the bar. All right, this thing's sick. I didn't realize I could do it from my phone and I could just start it, stop it, frame everything from my phone, which is nice. Okay.
get made fun of for this but my forearms are tiny so here we are forearm training baby the motorcycle. Let's go. And do one more of those. I've done three so far. And then, yeah, call it. <sighs> so nice outside. I'm gonna eat breakfast. It's not even breakfast, it would be lunch. But then go on a nice long walk. Look at that. All right. Let's go. So we got a forearm pump and shoulder pump. Not even a crazy shoulder pump right now because I've been doing forearms for the last 20 minutes, but. <sighs> yeah, my forearms are tiny. Look at those, They're fucking tiny. I mean, it's not terrible, but like, ow. I went like this and I felt like something like like, you know, when that feeling is like when you're like how you can feel the muscles tearing. Not like actually tearing, but, you know, you guys know what I mean if you actually lift. All right. I got to say some shit I want to say now because this is the part of the video that gets the most engagement. And I can see that. It's literally spiking right now. So... All the gay dudes skip to this part. All the gay dudes and the moms skip to this part. Just kidding, that's a joke. Chill out. All right, that's good. You're not upset at all. I got like, uh, I think I just, I like my goal two months ago, get a wider upper back and, and, and chest and shoulders. I think we're on progress to do that. Cause like you can see a lot more of a V taper. Like my chest is wider, my shoulders are broader. I have, I think what brought it together a lot was my traps. Even though my traps aren't great, they're a lot more developed than they were a couple months ago. So. I think it was a lot of trap work, which I'm gonna continue doing. And then my arms got a little bit bigger, so. Yeah, back, the rear delts really grow. My rear delts grow easy. And I have big rear delts just like, no matter what, because I've swam. And like swimming, literally like so much rear delt. Like it's literally all rear, de rear delt. Like I would come back from practice 
and like all that would be sore is in here. Like it'd just be terribly sore. So it's really strong in here, my rear delt, and uh, it's decently big. So you guys can see I don't, I don't lack rear delts. It doesn't mean I won't train them, but it's hard to train my rear delt because it's so much stronger than everything else. That's why I can do like insanely heavy rows. I could do, yeah, just mainly rows. Like my, my lat pull down is pretty good, but uh, yeah, it's more lats. So my back, strong, but that's obviously why I stopped training it and uh, it got, and I got small. So I gotta keep up to date with it because it grows really easily, but it also doesn't mean I shouldn't train it, right? So gotta keep it all around good. I know my left side was lagging a bit more than my right, and uh, especially on my trap. So fix that a little bit. Neck training, stuff like that. But yeah, come Christmas, I'll be, fucking 200 pounds and and leaner than i'm at right now no i won't be 200 pounds that's 10 pounds of bustle what to i'm gonna check what i weigh right now i am 193 with shoes on so i would say i'm like 190 191 around there so fuck it let me take my shoes off what am i with okay so it says 191.5 so after I get food in my belly, I'm gonna be like 193, 194. Um, yeah, I'm putting on like, I mean a pound, uh, I would say a pound every two weeks, I would say. That's, uh, that's pretty good without putting on too much fat. I think I put on like, I, I go in waves of fat and um, gaining fat and gaining muscle, which I think is just, I don't know how things work how my body works at least and how I eat. Cause I like to eat a lot of food, but sometimes I forget to move how much I eat because you gotta keep it level, right? You gotta eat as much as you move. So also I wanna know this, anybody that knows and like knows the science, eggs, the orange yolk versus the yellow yolk. And I'll show you guys in a second, but the, I got two eggs one was like, like six bucks. The other one was like cheaper eggs. What, the, the more expensive one, orange, they were orange. The cheaper ones, yellow. And I realized like the more like cheap the egg is, the ye more yellow it is. I don't know if there's like a discrepancy between like how much nutrition it has. I looked it up and it says no, but obviously Google is biased and I mean, you can't believe everything. So Google says there's no difference. I don't believe that. I believe there is a difference and not all eggs are created equal. I just don't know if the color, the color of the egg has anything to do with that. So if you know, let me know if you could find like a study. I couldn't find anything. I didn't do that much research, but yeah, that's, uh, that's where I'm at. Let me know what you guys think. Let's click these eggs up. All right, I'm telling you guys this. Grabbing the 50 pound dumbbells and curling that shit ain't gonna make you big. This is the meal. This is what's actually gonna make you big. A steak, eggs, avocado, milk, literally the dream. This is the perfect meal. Got a big ass steak. I don't know, maybe like a... 14 ounce steak, four eggs, and then an avocado. Obviously, you can't eat anything. I don't think you can, I don't think I could eat anything, like no meal without a jug of fair life to go along with it. So, that's how you get protein in. I don't know how much protein this is, but it's enough. That's for damn sure. It's gonna, it's, yeah, I know, I, I don't have to count my protein or count my calories because I know Shit, I'm getting enough in because of this meal. So, this is how you do it, guys. It's chilly. All right. Jug of Fairlife. Salt that junk. Get your sodium in. I don't know who said bad shit about sodium, but I think it's just 
I don't know. I, I heard somebody say that like sodium makes you inflamed. I don't know the research behind that. I'll have to do more research into it, but, but I don't know. I have a lot of sodium, so maybe that's why I'm so inflamed. Mm. 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 So good. It's not as good as anabolic cereal, but it is so good. Oh. It's just like the most ideal breakfast you can eat. The avocado. So perfect. You aren't eating like this. Like, I don't know how you could eat like this. And I don't know how I, the days I'm sad, I don't eat this, right? So that makes sense. Cause how can you eat this and not be happy? There's maybe a correlation. The good days, my bad days, I don't eat this. My good days, I eat this. Wonder if that's uh. There's some validity to that, probably. So good. Okay. I'm gonna eat this in peace. All right, I'm gonna go to coffee shop, walk there, got my backpack on. I'm gonna get a ice, decaf ice latte. I sound gay as fuck saying that, because I never wanted to be one of those like coffee drinkers, but look at me, here I am. I'm not getting caffeine though. We're uh, staying away from the caffeine. I'm gonna get some work done as like whatever needs to be done. Just kind of chill out, read a book and then go get some food, probably Thai. I'm gonna get some Pad Thai and then walk back and that's when I have to dial in. 5.30, I need to be on my computer fucking dialed the fuck in for 24 hours. I'm gonna get very, very, very little sleep. And uh, yeah, let's hopefully I make a good amount of money. So wish me luck, that's the plan. I don't know how much more I'm gonna get to film. I'm not gonna bring the camera with, but yeah, let's get here. All right, we eat. Boom, spring rolls, pad thai. Obviously had to get a check of Fair Life milk. And uh, yeah, that's my dinner. This is all I'm going to be eating for the next 24 hours. Just kidding. I'm definitely going to eat more stuff. But I'm going to be up late working. And uh, yeah, we'll see if I can get a workout sometime tomorrow. But no promises. Let's make some fucking money. Right. Things did not turn out like I expected them to be. Fucking fifty dollars. I'm I like literally not even worth my time. I'm honestly a little bit upset about it, but man, I can't be upset about it. I was promised some things, and uh, yeah, uh, they didn't really turn out how I expected. Which I mean, that happens. This fucking screen is like flipped around, and it's it's bugging me. So okay, there we go. So, yeah, I'm going to go to bed right now because it's like 11. I should have been in bed at like 8, um, probably like 9, latest. And I just fucking lost a ton of sleep for what, 50 bucks? Maybe a couple hundred bucks tomorrow morning? Not worth it in my opinion. Not fucking worth it. Like I have to like realize like I'm not trade. I don't want to be trading my time for money. There's a point where like you like I should be trading my time for money, but that point for me is not fucking fifty dollars. It's definitely not fifty dollars an hour. Naval, what's his name, Ravikan, he talks about like he didn't do anything. Like if his hourly wasn't worth like five thousand dollars an hour, like if if whatever that his time was gonna take wasn't worth. $5,000, like that thing that he's gonna do wasn't worth $5,000, then he wouldn't do it. Like he'd have somebody else do it or outsource it because that's, he put a time, he put a number on what his time was worth. So 
I don't even know what a number would be on my time that, that makes my time worth it. Um, I know it's a couple hundred dollars an hour. That's what I would say. It's for sure a couple hundred dollars an hour. I want to honestly say, if we're being realistic, like in my mind, and you always want to shoot high, but also be a, a little bit realistic. Like I'm saying, I mean, honestly over 300, like three to $500 an hour is what I think my time is worth right now. And maybe that sounds crazy that a fucking 19 year old saying that, but I've made way more than that in hours. So, um, I mean, if you, I guess like, I mean, it really depends. I know it's over a hundred dollars. Like it's over a hundred dollars for sure. Um, if you average out actually what I make, but in my mind, fucking $50. Nah, fuck that. That would be good for some people if you're making it steady, but like, no, I'm not happy with that. <laughs> Especially when I, uh, <laughs> expected Like, I, I don't know. I mentioned numbers earlier in the video, so I'm not going to cry about it. I'm just going to go to bed. I'm just going to say like, okay, I fucking wasted a bunch of time, like preparing for this thing don't waste any more like it's all, I'm already invested into it so might as well finish it is like what my mind says like I'm already doing this shit might as well stay up till 4 a.m and finish this shit because that's what everybody else is doing but then I look and I'm like these guys are all retards like are these guys I don't know maybe I'm getting upset with myself I'm not just calling them retard I'm just saying like it's not worth my time like me personally not worth my time so I'm just having to realize like, and think like when I do something and it's even the stupid stuff, like the, the people I talk to, the like things I go and do, the tasks I do, every, literally everything I do, like I have to consciously think about the time, like, is this even worth doing? Like going to the grocery store, is it worth going to the grocery store and spending however many, like, Let's say it like takes an hour and a half to go to the grocery store and get everything and then haul it back up into my house. Would it be worth it more for me to stay home and work and like order groceries in that hour? Like how much more is it gonna cost me in the hour that I missed? So that's why I order groceries. Or I'm starting to order more food. Is because it's not fucking worth me missing out on one, two hours like to spend what 30 bucks to get it delivered on top of what I'm paying for the groceries like that's not that's not a problem like it's it's more worth it my time's worth more than $30 so I should stay home and order the groceries so that's just an example for you guys but yeah I don't know maybe that sounds crazy but that's the mindset that I'm going to actually progress with because if I think like my time is worth doing this. My time's worth fucking sending 500 emails. I literally sent fucking 500 emails in the last couple hours. Like brainless work. Like my brain should be developing. Like I should be doing things that like make my brain work because that's what I trained my brain to do. Like that's the skill that I built is for it to work, not to fucking send emails. Like you make money sending emails, but like you could have some fucking retard kid out of high school doing it which is me, <laughs> I guess, but I've built the skill. So that would have been, that would have been something I did like, I guess a couple months ago or not a couple months ago, like a year ago. <sighs> I'm just pissed about it. All right, it's so whatever. I'm gonna move on, go to bed, wake up tomorrow. Maybe make another couple $50, $50 sales. <sighs> it's kind of pissed me off. All right, it's so whatever. Still, physique is looking good. More importantly, I feel good. Um, I ate a little bit close to bed because I thought I was going to be staying up a lot later. So I had that pad thai and those spring rolls so good. Um, but yeah, I ate them a bit too close to bed. So hopefully I do sleep good. My belly digests some good. And uh, yeah, I wake up rested tomorrow. So I'll catch you guys. Peace.